Well, <clears throat> this is to address what I've been saying all along. You know, all these preachers, these evangelicals, as I call them, the evil angel brigade, uh, that were sitting there like they were prophets saying, well, God told me that Trump is going to win. God told me, God didn't tell you anything unless, I don't know what God you're listening to. Like I said, Trump is a liar. And who's Satan? The father of lies. So who are you following? It's not the God that I know of the Bible, okay? But then again, all these televangelists that are out there with all this big money, what did Satan say? Bow down to me and I will give you whatever you see here. Okay? You want big money? Follow Satan. Okay? And so that's what they did. So if you're one of those that have been following one of these false preachers and you were told their prophecy that Trump is going to win, and you came here and tried to shove it down my throat, and I've been honest with you and told you that Trump has nothing. He is not a godly person. And then you wanted to call Biden a demon? Biden is a church-going man. The only thing Trump does with a church, he runs over, grabs a Bible, holds it upside down for a photo op. Okay. So you might want to rethink where you're going. You might want to actually take your Bible out and read it. Start with the red print. Start with the words of Christ. Okay? And once you get what Christ was talking about, then you can go back and read the Old Testament. Okay? But again, if you're with one of these preachers, and I mean, some of them look absolutely demonic when they were up there cackling and screaming and prophesying and doing their ridiculousness because they're not of God. Like the Bible says, you know, there will be those angels of darkness posing as angels of light. Okay? They will have these preachers in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they're ravening wolves, okay? So that's what you've got, okay? Look at that. That's what I can't even hardly look at him. He's so demonic, okay? Oh, you need to get me a plane. I can't fly on a regular plane with all these demons. And then he, he hears about, you know, Trump is losing and he's cackling up there and just, uh, I don't know if you can't see a spirit of darkness in this guy, I don't know what. You have no discrimination whatsoever. Okay. So look at all these ones that are prophesying and putting Trump on a pedestal and really look and question what you're following. Okay, because it's not the God of Bible that I know. Okay. God does not put a liar on a pedestal. He doesn't pay, put somebody that pays off porn stars on a pedestal. Okay. He doesn't put somebody that runs a criminal organization on a pedestal. Lord, have mercy. So get right. You know, you can, but you got to repent. That means you got to turn away from what you're doing and not do it anymore. Okay? It's not enough to go out and say, well, I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. And then keep doing what you're doing. It doesn't work that way. That's, that's not repentance. That's not... You know, you can say I'm saved by the blood of Christ, but if you're not walking the walk, okay, then forget it. He's going to say many are going to come, 
and say, well, didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we heal in your name? Didn't we do all these things in your name? He'd say, get away from me. I never knew you. Get behind me. I never knew you. Okay? So I don't care if you are following Satan and you're preaching Christ, Christ, Christ. Okay? You can talk about the blood of Christ all you want. Okay? But he's going to say, I never knew you. Okay? So if you're following name and fame and fortune, and that's what you're looking for, okay, you might want to, again, read the Bible and see what's important. Read what Christ was about. Okay? He wasn't about prosperity. These prosperity people... Man, when I heard them starting to preach this prosperity stuff, what was it, was it the 60s, 70s, they started this, 80s? I was like, hmm, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, that's not what Christ taught. Okay, so again, my suggestion is, you know, and like, you know, all these Trumpites were saying, you just watch and see. I said, okay, yeah, we'll watch and see. We'll watch and see. Okay. Now, you've watched. Did you see? Okay. Are you going to believe reality now? Or are you going to continue in this Grimm's fairy tale? where you've got things 180 degrees away. You've called the darkness light and the light darkness, and that is a dangerous place to be. Okay? So I hope that those that have been following these false preachers, false prophets, you know, that say that, oh, I talked to God and Todd told me that Trump is going to win. God told me Trump is there for another four years. God spoke to my heart. No, he didn't. That wasn't God. God's not a liar. Okay? And like I said, God does not put a liar, a thief, a con man on a pedestal. Okay? So, you know, I hope that some of these people will wake up, get their lives turned around, stop looking at the dark as, as light and the light as dark. Okay? There's still time. You could still turn your lives around. Okay? But you look back, and who was right? Was your false prophet right, or was I right? Okay. So, again, stop and look at it. Take out your Bible and actually read it, but start with the words of Christ. Get a Bible that's got the words of Christ in red. Read that first. Don't read any of the rest of it. Read that first. And then go back and study the rest of it and see why he came to reform what was in the Old Testament. He came as a reformer of Judaism. Okay? He came to fulfill the law. Okay? So I'm going to leave this here, love and light, to everyone. Um, you know, I hate to see you following false prophets. And, uh, you know, I run into him. I had one guy here wanted me to give him money for his church thing, and I could see he was totally off. And he just started cackling, jumping up and down, and, and spouting nonsense. And I just told him, you know, you need to read your Bible. You need to, you know. You know, if, you get, if you're in a church and you have somebody and they're giving all these prophecy and it's 
100% wrong? Because God is not lie, okay? So again, you know, if you're, they're given prophecies and they're wrong, then they're a false prophet. Then you need to think about leaving, okay? You need to think about leaving and getting right. So I'm going to leave this here. Love and light. See you online.